most beautiful designs are examples of scrimshaw, engravings in bone which are filled with black pigment to make them stand out. And they were done on things like whale teeth or whale bone like this, or indeed walrus ivory. And that's the example here. Scrimshaws are dying out because fortunately whales aren't hunted anymore in most places in the world. It is a pity though if scrimshaw is die, dies out, it's beautiful. And this is how you do backyard scrimshaw. First of all, go along to your butcher and get some bones. And that's a beef bone, that's a sheep bone. And you can see they're very good for scrimshaw rings because each one is a tube. They'll make bottles too. Let's start with a beef bone and show you what we do. First of all, put it into a vise. And when you do this, be careful. If you squeeze it too hard, it'll shatter in your face. So just get a good grip on it, steady it with your fingers, and then you can use a hacksaw blade to cut it. Now, if your butcher's friendly and what butchers aren't, they will often put this through the saw and cut it for you. But if you can't get it done like that, use a new hacksaw blade and you'll find that bone does really cut quite well like that. Here we go. You can see the bone powder's coming out there and your blade does work down through the bone. Makes a bit of a smell, but you do get there. And the result will be, if you're using beef bones, that sort of thing. There's a beef bone ring. Now, from now on, you have to use a lot of patience. The people who made Scrimshaw at sea were sailors. They were at sea for months on end, and they really had a lot of time to kill. So when they worked their Scrimshaw down, it wasn't too bad. Don't expect to do it in a hurry and use sharp files. But work on the surface of it, clean out the inside, get the fat out of there and grind away at the bone. Use any sort of files you like. Then work through to abrasive papers, especially wet and dry, which is called that because it works best when it's wet. Here we go. That'll finish off a nice sort of satin finish. To get a really good smooth, shiny finish, use metal polish, scrub hard, and this will be your result. That is a piece of beef bone which has been worked down into a shiny bone ring. That's a piece of sheep bone which is well on the way. And that's a longer piece of sheep bone which I'm going to make into a scrimshaw bottle. Let's get rid of the others and see what we do. Now the actual, actual scrimshawing starts now on the shiny bone. And you need sharp, hard points. I've sharpened the end of a file here. Steady the bone down. You can draw the design first with a pen if you like. But then you begin to scratch hard. Work very carefully. One slip and you have to polish it all up again. When you get to the fine lines, you use a needle. That's what the sailors did. And to make it easier, they embedded it in a piece of cork. It's good to get a grip on and you can use the nice fine lines like that. Now, of course, they had to show the design up, and they used black from a lamp, but it's easier to use a permanent felt pen. Here it goes. You scribble all over your design, let the ink dry, and then, using your metal polish rag, wipe the surface black off. The result will be black that stays in the design, and there we are, a little fish. Now, that's a scrimshaw bottle. I've plugged the end with a piece of cork, and all I have to do is to find another piece of cork that fits the top and my scrimshaw bottle will match my scrimshaw ring. Give it a go. See what you can do with backyard scrimshaw. Cute.